recording. We're starting now. Just doing quick team preview thingies. So nothing's happened in the background, don't worry. Um so this is our matchup. We top team have a very interesting matchup. I'm not a super big fan of it. Like I don't like this matchup. I liked my matchup last week way better than this one. This team is just absolutely, in my opinion, stacked. Because you've got the Chien Pao, Guard Chomp, Zapdos, you've got your starter bird, and then you've got Hatterene, then you got another starter bird. And then you got Volcania, Copperaja, Ursaring, and Grumpig. My biggest I think the scariest thing for me is probably going to end up being the Ursa Ring and the Kaparaja. Just because this week, um, what team did I bring? Because this week the team that I brought was... Oh yeah, again, I don't have like a spinner or anything because I just refuse to bring more. I don't refuse to bring more Rico, but I refuse to bring more Pico. But, um, so the Relax is here. I meant to change this entire set, but I just didn't care at like the entire week that I've had to prepare for it. And then I've got Ursa, my, um, my Lodic, Patin, if you know where that comes from, shout out to you, you're awesome. And then I've got my Scarf Harley. And Golden Go and Dark Lay. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about hazards, especially after what happened last week. But I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We do have a strong fairy weakness, but you know that's what Golden Go is here for. Even though he's, I'm pretty sure he's Terra Water and not Terra um, Steel. Why he's Terra? Why did I make him Terra Water this week? Because I don't think I had a reason to. I think Steel would have always... I think Steel was always better. But I think I was worried about um, Volcanion and Garchomp being an issue. So I kind of... So I tear it away from um, Steel for that. But now that I think about it... Terra Water doesn't help me get Zapdos and Decidueye. It also makes me weak to poison. Not weak to poison, but you know, not immune to poison. And I would no longer resist, um, whenever well, I do resist GM Pass now. But, I don't know, we'll see. We have a, it's still, it's not a bad matchup. GM Pass obviously is a problem. Did I see if we had rocks on Ursa? I can't remember. We don't have rocks on Ursa, so it's just Toxic Spikes. And of course we don't have another rock setter. So yeah. Chien Pao, I'm, ex I'm trying to, fi I've been trying to figure out if I expect Chien Pao to be Sashed or Boots. But I'm expecting Zapdos to be Boots and then Chien Pao to be Sashed. But they could both be Sashed, they could both be Boots for, you know, for all I know. Um, we've got Hazards, obviously we have Hazard King, Clodzire, and then we've got our Sticky Webs. But he does have, you know, options. He's, he can, he's not, you know... Useless. He's got way more options than I do. Sorry, it's like disruption, you know, like taunts and encore, but I'm not gonna get encore. Um, I do like my team. I do feel like that my team overall does well. In the mocks that I did, I did not do as well as I, I guess, would have liked to do, but I didn't do like terribly. All right, so. Um, he is ready to go, so we're gonna hop right into it. And we are going against Fist to Your Doom of the, what is his team name? The Super Bash Bros. I hope I set this uh, the tournament up right. I'm pretty sure I did. Did I not register my battle team? I could have sworn I did. I 
I don't know if he's actually searching or not though. I'm, I'm searching, so he's searching. Oh, there he goes. Good luck to him. So champ out. Okay, so yeah, I I I don't know if I expected this team, but I, yeah, I expected this team. Um, Earth Swing obviously is a problem because you know Terra Fairy, but I think I'm trying to think of what I would think he would lead with. Um, Garchomp is a pretty decent lead, I think, for him. I'm going to lead Harley just because regardless of what comes out, I can always just U-turn out. And if it, if he leads like Zapdos or something, I'm just going to switch. Did I use all six Pokemon? I really hope I use all six Pokemon. I think I did, but I'm not sure and I'm scared. Oh, 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 oh man. I'm, I'm actually terrified because I don't obviously... I would hate to lose because I did a 5v6 by accident. Which if I catch a turn one, obviously I'm not I'm gonna be like, hey, uh, can we like restart? But yeah, good luck to him, good luck to us. We have all six Pokemon. Alright, cool. They look great task. Alright, so he's got whatever this is. So Volcania, that's fine. So with Volk, we use turn out. We already know we're faster. Even if Volk was scarfed, we're still faster because we're scarfed. So let's do, just go ahead and hop out. Please don't be rocking on it. Okay, he's not rocking on it. He's just really physically bulky. Um. We're water was over, right? Yeah. I didn't see that coming. I started to pick my I started to throw my load of cocker too. But I wouldn't have expected um I wouldn't have expected flame charge from this thing at all. Um, I'm gonna click Toxic. I'm expecting him to switch. Hopefully it's not into like Ursa Ring. Because obviously if it's in Ursa Ring, that's bad. Because whether Earth Ursa Ring is Quick Feet or Guts, um, we don't want Ursa Ring just being free. But I'd rather him be Guts with Toxic than Guts with like Flame Orb or something. Earthquake, so I... Oh my gosh. First off, why are you a physical volcano? That's super annoying. I'm so glad that you lived Ursa because um, unfortunately I don't think that you'll be getting much use from the rest of the battle. But he is toxic. So he's on a timer. Volcanion is officially on a timer. Um, he used Earthquake and some other move I don't remember. Oh, I don't I, I thought it was Zapdos here. I guess not. Oh, Earthquake and Flame Charge. Earthquake and Flame Charge. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and switch out into our Milotic. Because I think we did what we needed to do here. I don't remember my Milotic is physical special. Not physical special, but you know what I mean. Um... Is it, does it lean towards the physically heavy defensive side or not? Yeah. It's got enough to do something with, I guess. We can't water absorb it or anything like that. Um, we can coil though. So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna coil because, but I'm, cons mm, maybe that wasn't the best move. Oh, I forgot to switch Avalanche off. Oh. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad I forgot to switch Avalanche off of this. Dang, that sucks. Um. I 
I'm not maxed by death. Do I just go for the avalanche anyways? Or do I click, I click recover, I think. I'm going for avalanche. Because Apto scares me, obviously. Discharge doesn't. I'm really upset with myself for um, avalanche. Just wait a second. Oh, I thought it was weakness policy. I was going to cry. So I've got both of the bulk of my teams just kind of like out of commission right now. I do still have Snorlax though, but letting both of my um, bulky Pokemon get knocked that low that quickly, probably not the best idea. So, but I feel like I need my Lodic more than I need um, Cloudsire. There's the Discharge. Are we Black Sludge? I don't think we are. Two of his Pokemon have leftovers, and that's kind of annoying. Okay, so we are Black Sludge. Um, I'm gonna... Because I don't have recovery on this. Okay, so yeah, we're alive. I think this is where our string comes out. Which is fine. I mean, it's not fine, but... I would rather... Gosh, maybe Earthwing should have came out because it would put Earthwing on a timer, a very deadly timer, but on a timer. But Toxic Spikes is okay. Toxic Spikes is fine. Barely legal. Chain Pow? Oh, that was Earthwing, duh. It's a bear. And this also lets me know if he's flame orb or which I don't think he's flame orb because yeah, okay, so he is definitely um Where's my regenerator mod? Earthquake, that's fine. I don't want to give Earthquake a choice scarf. I don't want to give anything a choice scarf. I know he's not going to use like a normal move on me because obviously I'm a ghost type. Um, I don't think Earthquake does a whole lot, but this does. Hmm. Um, I am going to click Make It Rain. Wait, what's on his team again? I am going to still click Make It Rain. Because I feel like his answer to this... Oh, he didn't switch out. So he must, like, know something. I know. This could be, like, a bandit or something, too. Like, I, I don't know yet. Assault Mask? Maybe? Because that did, like, nothing. How much does Earthquake do? Earthquake, okay, so we eat Earthquake. Um, let's do some numbers real quick. I 
I am glad he's not poisoned. And that earthquake still did more than I would like it to, which because it gives him room to. Oh, please don't send out. Please send out Quackafall. Razor's Edge. I don't know what this is, but it sounds like a dark type. Oh, that's fine. I mean, not really. But I, I can deal with that. Not bad. Oh, leftovers, leftovers. Alright, let's... Let's reset. Does, does Big Zapdos get defog? I can't remember. Okay, that's Roost. Big Zap no longer gets defog. Okay, so we're good. I, I couldn't remember, but I just had to make sure. Um... Obviously, we're gonna click recover. He's gonna die. We're gonna, we're, we're clicking recover. I think right now. I think now is an okay time to bring Snorlax in. He's not Rocky Helmet, which we know. So, and we're a little bit bulky on both sides. Couldn't tell you how bulky, because I don't remember. But we're bulky on both sides. Chi and Pao could come out here, though, and probably put some work in. And he still hasn't no ducks given. Okay. So Quackle is poison, so I can't paralyze it. Sucks. Um, Quack isn't one of his terrors, is it? No, it's not. So we're at plus one defense. We are more on the physically defensive side. So we should be able to like take a close combat okay. Um, I am going to, gosh, do I want to rest? I think I should rest just to see how much damage it does. Rapid spin. That did a lot of damage and it was always a crit. So rest pro here probably wasn't the best play. But it does give him a free rapid spin. Against. I guess, yeah, it does give him a free rapid spin against me. I was afraid of like close combat or something. So, we were able to distract, I guess. That crit did not help me, like, assess damage, though. But he's limited to the fact that he's poisoned. I would rather him be poisoned, I think, than paralyzed. Because it was like, even if he clicks... Because um, he has to click close combat here, I think. He doesn't aqua step. He might be running damage calcs. Close combat. A little bit more than half. His defense is lower. Body Sam should do a decent amount of damage though. Yeah. I wish we were able to get that second layer of uh, toxic spikes out. We didn't really try for it though. Would he just use close combat? I mean, I, hmm. If you had to ask me if I thought Curly could survive a... It's resisted. It's quad resisted. But it's not like I really want her to, like, take this hit. Um, hold on. How much time do I have left? Before I... 15 seconds. Okay. Um... You are base 60. Heesh. 
And he still has six Pokemon left, too. Yeah, I probably could have let Harley take that. But I just, I feel like it would have taken just too much damage. But it's fine. He's, he's getting nowhere with the Moxie because he's dead. But Quackleball is down, which is good. His two Terras are Ursa Ring and Garchomp. Whoops. Um. And as fast as Mon is still Chi up oh, there, there's a Chi and Pal. Yeah, I was afraid of this thing. Um, he's faster than me. I don't think I was. I don't think I have much for Chi and Pal. I spinner. I probably would have killed him. That is so much damage. I wish I had Sucker Punch or something. I think I would have survived. If I, I mean, at full health, I probably would have survived. But um, I'll say a U turn. I mean, if he scarfed it, then that's the end of the battle. But. If he's not scarfed, this gives me a chance to break the sash. It also kills Darkrai. I think he's scarfed. He's got to be scarfed or sashed. Volcanion comes back out. I mean, he can't be put to sleep, so it's just kind of like, huh. I could go for a dark pulse and, get, and hope for a flinch. Flinch. Yeah. I forgot I'm life orbed. Oh boy. Nice if Ice Spinner could miss. I think that this thing is sashed. I'm faster and I missed. Oh my god. Oh my god. First off, it's adamant. That hurts my feelings so much. That hurts my feelings so much. Um, if I'm stuck with Moonblast the entire rest of the game, I'm going to click Moonblast right now. Honestly, if he, this is, this is how I will know. Okay, so he keeps switching out. So he's, he could be Bandit too. So Razor's Edge, that is something. 
That's Zapdos. So Zapdos is probably gonna eat this Boom Blast. Like, eat it, eat it. I needed that special attack drop so bad. I almost wish I was like Quiver Dance um, thing now. A crit would have been nice. But minus two special attack is great too. Cause, cause, come on. Good job. Good job, Harley. No power. Unfortunately, Moonblast is a 4 hit KO. At best. And there's nothing stopping him from like just boosting right here too. Good turn. I see what he did. So when whatchamacallit comes back out here, he clicks Ice Shard and I just die. That makes sense. Yeah, because he won't he won't click sucker because I shouldn't die to a sucker. Well, I probably still die to a sucker. But um yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, his eye shard. That was game. GG's to him. GG's to not GG's to us, but GG's to him. Because he played it well and I I did um forget some things. I still wonder what he was, though. Because he would not let. I'm still upset about. Um, I think I'm more upset about the Focus Blast, Focus Blast Mess than anything else. Because I feel like that lets me know that he was Boots instead of Sash. Wait. He was Boots instead of Sash. He didn't get poisoned by the Toxic Spikes. Hindsight. You want to continue battling? No, of 